Welcome to BoardShop.co.uk. Today we have royalty in the business and in the house. This is Ben Skinner of Skin Dog Surfboards, hero, and we have got some boards to introduce that Ben's going to talk to you about that are amazing. Hello everyone. Thanks for having me guys. Super stoked to be here. Um, Really excited about this new technology we've been been working on with uh, Yusan Sumitomo from Japan. Um, this technology started around five or six years ago uh, when Harley Ingleby and CJ Nelson uh, teamed up with Yusan um, and they decided to make uh, a different construction of longboard with a totally different flex pattern to try and get the best feeling possible out of their surfboards. So Thunderbolt Technologies was created. Um, <clears throat> ever since then, I've been looking at this te technology kind of with envy and always wanted my equipment to be made in it. <coughs> so I've got a croaky going on. So good. Um, and so a year and a half ago, we, we decided to team up with USAN and make our boards in this technology. Um, Today I'm just going to take, take the opportunity to talk you through the technology itself, uh, why it's different and what's different compared to any other EPS board on the market. So we'll start with the basics. Um, this surfboard starts as an EPS foam stringerless blank um, and we basically engineer the blanks before we build the surfboard. So. Um, the main, the key ingredients to the Thunderbolt technology is the AVT flex system that they have inserted in the centre of the board. This uh, concludes with uh, a T-band stringer down the centre of the board, uh, an A-beam on the top of the board and a V-beam on the bottom of the board. Um, that is the AVT flex system. If you go on the website, Thunderbolt uh, website or um, Skin Dog Surfboards, you can check out the construction video on there and it will... We'll go into detail and show you a, a very sick video of how the construction is actually put together from start to finish. Um, but the main reason behind this flex system is to create a torsional flex in the surfboard. So this board actually has a torsional flex um, this way throughout the tail. All these components cross in between your feet, which makes this a real t turning point in the, in the flex which is where it's in between your feet. So the tail really has the opportunity to flex left to right. When you're surfing, that gives you the most incredible feeling off the bottom. Once you're driving off a rail or any kind of turn, the response and the speed and the energy that you get back from this flex system is like nothing I've ever ridden, which is why, um, why we're here today, basically. Um, so every board that Thunderbolt makes has this internal flex system inside, um, but we have two different styles of external lamination making two different styles of construction. So just to get that right, it's got the internal flex system, the AVT in both constructions, but we have a different external laminate on, on, on both. So we're just gonna pull the other one up alongside. This one, initially I'll tell you, is the carbon brushed carbon. So it's an all over carbon um, thunderbolt. Um, you can see um, the carbon coming through the, the brushed hot coat. Um, this is the lightest construction that we do and, and the strongest um, and the stiffest flex. So it's, it's obviously with carbon on the external, it definitely stiffens this board up and, and, is a, and is really geared up towards the high performance boards and high performance surf. So the flex that this board gives is like a bat, you know, you hit a lip and it just comes to life. So um, yeah, this is the carbon. I'm gonna take you across to the Xeon construction. Um, Xeon being the fiberglass external laminate. Again, still has the internal flex system, um, uh, but this one has the fiberglass laminate. Very, very slightly heavier than the carbons, um, but a very different flex pattern too. There's much more flex in these boards because of the, the fiberglass external. Um, so in the smaller, less powerful surf, this construction definitely is the one that, ex that excels. Um, and, and the carbon is definitely geared more towards high performance surfing and high performance boards. Um, 
So real great option for, for both, you know, both are great, great feeling. I love both of them, but I tend to ride um, the Xeon in, the, in my smaller wave boards and the Carbon in the high performance boards. This has, has a, this is an all over tint version, um, but we can do these in any color, make them look any way. We've obviously got, um, we've got a few different color options in this and in the Carbon, um, but if you hear Xeon, it's basically an external fiberglass laminate. If you hear full carbon, it's the carbon external laminate. And that's the two differences between this technology. But I really urge people just to, to have a go and feel this technology in any of the boards that, that you'll, you'll see from Thunderbolt, either from myself or CJ or Harley. Um, you're going to feel the difference in this technology. It's, there's something different about it. I can't explain it, but you really have to feel it for yourself. So maybe check out some of our demo days that will be coming up later on in the year and you can hopefully come and have a go and test them in the water and feel what I feel. Also as a note to that, Ben pointed out, these are what Ben surfs. The best long water surfs these. Good enough for him, good enough for us. Yeah, we, we, wherever we pull out the box is what you're going to ride and what I would ride too. So. Um, yeah, there's no, there's no like heavier boards for, for customers and lighter for us. It's, this is what we ride and we want you to feel what we're riding. And that's, Thunderbolt is different compared to everybody else for that reason.